Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. My friend and I would like to present our skill that gained during the COVID-19 outbreak. I would like to start with myself first. My name is Muhammad Iqbal bin Abdul Halib. So the skill that I gained during the COVID-19 outbreak is electronic appliance repair. I will show you guys how I repair a USB Type-C connection. Let's get started. So this is a broken USB Type-C. Firstly, I have to prepare the cable. I will cut the USB using a blade and strip down the wires jacket to a suitable length. Secondly, I will replace the broken USB Type-C with a new head. Thirdly, I have to prepare the soldering iron and wait for a few minutes for its ideal heating condition and while waiting for it, install the heat shrink at each of the wire for protection from the corrosion. So next step is to match the wire's colors and solder it using the soldering iron and solder. Make sure the solder cool down in a room temperature. Then heat up the heat shrink using any heating element for a secure connection and protection. Lastly, I have to check the connection is in a good condition by plugging it into the power supply. It looks like the device is charging which means the connection is in a good condition. Well, good job yourself. Oh, that's all from me. Thank you for your time. So I wonder what skill does my friend Syed has gained? Let's hear from him. Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. I'm Syed Muhammad Fadil bin Syed Ahmad. Today I want to introduce my little family. Okay, this is my wife, Noriati, my little daughter, Aisha, Aisha Sophia, and our little hero. Little hero, Syed Muhammad Ali. Say hi. Ali, pay kiss to Baba friends. As we know, our world attacked by COVID-19 virus. This virus uh, made our world economy do very bad. To prevent this virus to get worse, our government implemented Ali. Our government implement the movement control order since March 2020. Since then. Uh, all the government and private sector have been forced to close and we all required to stay at home during the period and MCO time. During the period, I help my wife to manage our home such as uh, wash my, our bathroom and then vacuum our house and washing my clothes and so on today i want to share with you how to use a washing machine and dryer machine that's my dryer machine and this is our washing machine I believe all of you are familiar how to use a washing machine but it's okay I will show you how to use a washing machine First, we must have a liquid detergent and soften it and now we put some liquid detergent at the liquid space a little bit and then take the softener and put the softener close this part close the outer door waiting and push the power button and then push the start button 
this washing machine is a auto washing machine and it has safety lock it's safe when our children come to our washing machine and play around here and the safety lock is quite help us to prevent from any accident after finish it we can take our clothes from the washing machine and put to put into the dryer machine so when we get our clothes and put into the dryer machine we close the door and we can push the start button and we can select what program that we want for me our clothes has so many types like cotton uh, cotton synthetic and something else so i will decide a mix 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 program for my clothes i uh, have many types of clothes like cotton synthetic and something else so i select the program uh, mix push this button to make the selection that we want Okay, and this is the progress of our washing machine. Our dryer machine is have drying, cooling, and anti crease. This is the time. This display show the time about three hour and ten minutes. And then we can push the start button, and this machine auto to off. Operate. That's all my video how to use washing machine and drying and dry machine. So thank you to my teacher and my friend. Bye. Assalamualaikum. We have never been before seen a pandemic sparked by coronavirus. And we have never before seen a pandemic that can be controlled. Two kerajaan telah memutuskan untuk melaksanakan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan, EKP. Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to the video session, which I, Amir Zani, will reveal what I accomplished to develop my guitar playing skill during the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the fact that I have started playing the guitar since the beginning of high school But I'm not really talented enough to showcase my talent My musical knowledge was entirely self-taught During the pandemic, I had to live alone While my family was away in my hometown It was very difficult experience But it was worth it In the end I took the opportunity to improve my guitar playing skills by trying different techniques and playing in different ways. I have chosen the song She's Gone by Steelheart to appreciate the love story of the past. The song tells the story of a man who is heartbroken after his beloved needs. It is a beautiful song that illustrates the importance of love. This song has a sentimental value for all people who have been in a love relationship. It expresses the disappointment and regret that comes with a situation where that love was not reciprocated. The composition of this still heart song has several important elements including a bass, rhythm and solo for string instruments. I began to understand the bass notes of the song structure in order to better understand the song's overall composition. The hardest part of learning to play the guitar is finding the solo part. When playing a solo, there are important elements such as tempo, theory, and the most difficult thing is to embrace the feel, which can sometimes be difficult to replicate with just instrument. 
Also, a strap cat is required, such as remembering every note that needs to be played without reading the sheet music. After having mastered the intro solo, I discovered that I could learn a variety of techniques and skills, including vibrato, bending, and melancholy. In addition to spending the extra time, all of this can assist developing the capacity to explore more complex composition. Until then, I really would like to express my gratitude for your attention and wish you a wonderful day. See ya! Hi everyone, my name is Amy Hadiah Shafika and I'm from Faculty of Electrical. So during pandemic, I found myself had a lot of free time. So I decided to learn sewing. Based on studies, sewing helped us to develop fine motor skills, improve our focus and concentration, and teach us the important things of patience and self-control. Because of me, because many of us were suffering with loneliness, depression, and anxiety during the pandemic, including me, to be honest. So, I found out that sewing really helps me to boost my mood. These are the tools that I use to sew uh, my favorite scrunchie. Uh, I have tape measure, I have a thread, and a needle, and um, and. I also have some equipment that I don't have here, but I'm gonna put it down here, such as a scissor, pencil, and also a pin. This is my favorite scrunchie that I saw. Since uh, it's so hard to find favorite at that time because most of the tailor shop are closed, so I decide to use my opals. My biggest challenge at that time was lack of equipment. Since we were in pandemic, not business, not so many businesses are open, so I had to buy it online, and sometimes it takes a very long time to be delivered at home. And that's all from me for now. Now I will pass the time to the next presenter, Lekman, to share about his skill. Assalamualaikum, I'm Muhammad Lekman. Uh, previously, my friends already talked about their fascinating skills that they developed during the pandemic the skill that I developed uh, kind of weird for men actually uh, which is baking a brownies I'll show to you uh, all the ingredients in the process of making the brownies we have here dash uh, almond and here is chocolate powder around 4 spoon milk powder 4 spoon this is brown sugar for 150 gram this is a uh, super fine flour 100 in gram this is chocolate which we need to double boil it later 450 gram 
and butter 150 gram and lastly three eggs okay first we double boil the chocolate and the butter together until both uh, ingredients is melt and mix up uh, after a few minutes the chocolate will melt away together with the butter and this is what it's like waiting the chocolate to melt we put the eggs into the mixer and start the machine after a few minutes we put all other ingredients into the mixer and start the mixer again this is a uh, powdered meat and super fine floor brown sugar and chocolate powder and start the mixer again for a few minutes until all the mix are uh, mixed well together okay looks like the ingredients are mixed up well together so we put the double boil chocolate and start the mixer again and let uh, wait until a few minutes until all the mix, uh, all the ingredients are mixed up together again. Okay, looks like it's finished. Uh, so it's time to put all the mixed ingredients into the aluminium aluminium foil and ready to bake before we start to bake the brownies we need to preheat the oven at 180 degrees for 5 minutes this is what it looks like once we put the mixing ingredient into the container and before we bake we put some of the Dice almond on top of all the first we pre-bake the ingredients for 10 minutes with a 200 degree temperatures and we start for 10 minutes next we reduce the temperature to 180 and we bake it for 30 minutes and wait for the result and this is the finished product and the skill that I developed during this uh, pandemic thank you